So we're being asked to solve this differential equation. Let's go ahead and do it. So this is a separable differential equation. So what we can do is the following. We're going to divide both sides by p minus p squared. So the left-hand side will be dp over p minus p squared. And then we're at the same time, we're going to multiply by dt. So dt, dt, right? And then so these will cancel. And then so here we'll just have dt. Now we're going to integrate both sides. So we'll integrate the left-hand side and integrate the right-hand side. Now the integral on the left-hand side does take a bit of work. So let's rewrite the integrand as follows. 1 over p minus p squared. This can be written as 1 over, well, if we factor out a p, we get p times 1 minus p. And there's a couple ways to actually rewrite this and break it up. Uh, the most common way is to use partial fractions. And you can do that either the long way or using the cover-up method. Um, another way of doing this is to be clever. So watch this. Here we have a 1. I'd really like to have a 1 minus p because then it would cancel. So you just put it there. So boom, we just write it down. You might say, well, hey, wait a minute. That's wrong. You can't just put a 1 minus p there. Yes, we can because we can get rid of the p by adding it. And this is a beautiful trick. We basically added 0, right? If that part's confusing, think of it as follows. 1 is equal to 1 minus p plus p, right? The p's cancel. And so we basically thought of this as a single term and this is a single term and then broke it up. So these cancel, these cancel. This is equal to 1 over p plus, and then this is 1 over 1 minus p. So now the integral on the left-hand side becomes 1 over p dp plus the integral of 1 over 1 minus p dp. And then over here, we still have dt. So the first integral is going to give us a natural log, as is the second one. But you have to be really careful. In fact, let me go ahead and show the work for the second integral. If you let u equal to 1 minus p, then du is equal to negative dp. And you don't have a negative sign here, so what you can do is multiply or divide by negative 1. And then so you are going to get a negative sign here. So rewriting this, we have 1 over p dp minus the integral of 1 over u du equals the integral of dt. Let's go ahead and integrate this. We could have done it a while ago. Uh, I was just trying to, I guess, show some steps. So this ends up being the natural log of the absolute value of p minus, and this is the natural log of the absolute value of u. But u was 1 minus p, so we can skip a step there. And this integrates to simply t plus our constant, which I'll go ahead for now and call it c tilde. Uh, y, at some point, it's going to change, so I decided to call it something besides c until the very end. Here we can use the quotient rule for logarithms. So this is the natural log of p over 1 minus p, and this is equal to t plus c tilde. To get rid of the natural log, we can exponentiate both sides. So remember, this is an exponent. So all of this is in the exponent. So on the left-hand side, we end up with the absolute value of p over 1 minus p. Right? That's because e to the ln x is equal to x. Right, boom, super powerful. And then here we end up with, well, this is actually e to the t, e to the c tilde. So I'm going to write it as e to the c tilde, e to the t, right? And why can you do that? Well, we're just adding exponents, right? t plus c tilde is simply t plus c tilde. When you drop the absolute value, you do get a plus or minus here. So you get plus or minus e to the c tilde, e to the t. And now what we can do is we can call this c. So we can let this be c, 
and you can do that, right? C tilde A is arbitrary. E to the C tilde A is arbitrary. So plus or minus E to the C tilde A is arbitrary. In other words, we don't know what C tilde A is. We don't know what E to the C tilde A is. So we certainly don't know what this is. So we can just call it capital C. So we have P over 1 minus P equals C E to the T. And now to solve for P, we will multiply both sides by 1 minus P. So 1 minus P, 1 minus P. These cancel, so you get P equals, I guess we can distribute here. So this times 1 is just that. And then this times this is simply this. If we add this to the other side, we end up with P plus C E to the T, P equals C E to the T. Right? We just added this to the other side so it became positive and we wrote it on the left hand side. So now we can factor out a P here. So this is P and then 1 plus C E to the T and this is equal to C E to the T. And then dividing by 1 plus C E to the T, 1 plus C E to the T, we end up with the final answer of P is equal to C E to the T over 1 plus C E to the T. So I kind of rushed this video, um, but I guess you could always uh, rewind it. I hope it made some sense, and I hope this helps.